melodic techno pluck lead sound. Sounds like this. And if I solo it, it sounds like this. Okay, so we have the uh, track duplicated. Let me solo it here. And we'll start with a new preset to build this from scratch. And we're going to use the analog sound engine. And this is based on a saw wave pluck. First thing we're going to do is set up this filter one here by turning the cutoff down somewhere around here. And add a little bit of resonance. And let's add some key follow so that when we play higher, there's a bit less filtering going on. Here's what it sounds like now. And we're going to modulate the filter cutoff and resonance using envelope 2. So let's grab envelope 2 here. And add a bit of that. And we're going to turn the resonance down as we go up on the filter. And bring the sustain up. So if you hold the note, it's not as filtered. And bring the decay up a little bit. And the release as well. Which reminds me, let's do our VCA envelope here. We'll bring the attack up a little bit. Decay up a little longer. Sustain down for more plucky sound and bring the release up so we can hear the release on the filter. And that's our basic pluck sound right now. And let's listen again to what we're hearing here. So there's a lot of effects going on, so let's go back to patch we're working on. And let's add in some of those effects. First of all, we have a delay right now. There's no delay, so let's turn up the dry wet. So we got a little delay going on. And stereoize it a little more. So it moves across the spectrum. A little more feedback. Goes on a little longer. Then we'll add some chorus here, the Juno chorus. Uh, just a little bit. Kind of smear it a little. original one had a bit of stereo pan. It's just slightly moving across the stereo spectrum. So not all the way across. We're going to move kind of in the center, dance around the center a little here. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the original version. You know, the sound is changing. So what we're going to do is add some distortion. And we'll make it... But if we listen to the original, it doesn't start distorted. Kind of comes in later. So what we're going to do is set this distortion, the dry wet of the distortion knob up with a macro knob. We use macro knob one and click here to assign it to the dry wet. We'll go all the way. So it's our distortion and we can automate this inside of our DOA, Ableton in this case. If we listen back to the original one. Mm -hmm. 
So it becomes a bit brighter, a bit duller at different points overall on the sound. And in order to set that up, instead of using a filter here, but also on our distorted effects, we're going to put a filter at the end of our effects chain so that it can filter the entire sound. So set the cutoff somewhere around here and then assign to macro 2 our cutoff So we have control over the complete dull slash brightness of the sound. And this gets automated. Let me show you real quick the automation on this. So this is our macro one knob, our distortion. We adding in distortion on the second phrase. This second automation lane, this is our dull and bright knob. And then the last one down here, this is going to be our white noise. Let's add in the white noise. I'm going to make it bright so that we can hear it. Go back to our synth and we'll go to the utility engine and turn on noise one. And right now it's getting filtered. We're sending to filter one. And the problem is this filter is filtering out all the top end of that white noise. So we'll move this to filter two. So we're basically bypassing filter one, going straight into filter two. Now the problem is if we hold the note, it's a little too much white noise for me. So this white noise is going to be controlled by envelope three. We'll assign it clicking up here and add in. And let's extend the delay a little bit longer. But as we saw when we looked at the automation that the white noise is automated to come in and out. If we're using envelope 3 on the volume here, we can turn down the white noise by turning down the volume here. But the problem is if we turn down the volume here, it will also turn down the volume of filter 1 because filter 1 is being fed into filter 2. And we can see this in our filtering routing here. So. We can switch that from in series, filter one going into filter two, to filter one and filter two both independently going into the effects. Now, we can control the volume of our white noise by this volume knob right here. And let's assign that to macro number three. Turn it up. So that is our white noise. So now we can have this kind of mellow block, add some distortion, and white noise, and really evolve the sound. Last thing, I forgot to add a, a little bit of reverb on here. Kind of tie the room together. So. Yeah, you can automate these sounds over time for a very dynamic lead sound. So that's the sound. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.